Why are scientists looking at the most random animals to try to study diabetes? Sometimes it feels like scientists are just like, okay, okay, let's see, yeah, boop. Why not? So is it really that important? Yes. Right, sorry, um, I should explain. Humans have known about diabetes for a long, long time. There's records from across the world for thousands of years. But until the 1900s, we really didn't know what was happening, and oftentimes the disease was simply a death sentence. We now know that diabetes happens when the sugar traveling in your bloodstream to give your body energy can't seem to connect to the body's receptors right to do that job. That's because we need insulin to make this connection happen, and in the case of diabetes, the body either isn't producing enough or isn't using it properly. So what does any of this have to do with blind cavefish or snails? Well, here's the thing to remember. Turning sugar into energy is a really fundamental thing. It's what the famed powerhouse of the cell does. And so getting that sugar to the cells that need it is just as fundamental. So while you or I may have only heard the word insulin used as a medicine for people, the chemical insulin, or a similar insulin-like chemical, is found in nearly every single animal. And so many animals, including household pets, can develop diabetes too. In fact, the reason why scientists know to treat diabetes with insulin is from studies on diabetic dogs. They were able to isolate insulin in healthy dogs and inject it into diabetic dogs. This research would go on to win the Nobel Prize and also firmly cement the title of man's best friend for dogs. And animals less similar to us have developed other strange ways of using insulin too. The simple cone snail, for example, uses insulin in its venom to poison fish. And still, researchers are studying that venom because we could learn something from it that could make better insulin treatments for people. Even that blind cave fish, because it lives in a cave, has inconsistent food schedules and has huge blood sugar spikes, but it doesn't seem to suffer any negative consequences, and so we may be able to learn something from that. Studying diabetes in animals isn't just something that could save lives, it already has and currently is saving countless lives. So who knows what these other animals could teach us? Maybe one day you'll be man's best friend. I think you're pretty cute, yeah. Ow! <laughs> hey guys, is, is the snail venom only poisonous to fish or?